Welcome to 5 Minutes of Faith brought to you by Believer's Ministry where we're reaching the community with the love of Christ, one person, one family at a time. Join us as we are taking excerpts from our pastor's recent sermon. It's going to be about five minutes. Today's message is, do you know how to tell time? Amen. Our lesson text will be taken from Romans, the 13th chapter, verses 11 and 12. And we will be reading these verses from the King James Version. And it reads, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Yeah. The clock, we said, is ticking. Mm -hmm. It's good to be conscious of the passing of time. It reminds us that this world is not our home. That time is carrying us to the day when it will cease and eternity will begin. But while we're living on earth, God wants us, the church, he wants to use us to build his kingdom yes. before time runs out. Yeah. Our challenge is to remember that while the hands on the clock are turning, our hands should be faithfully working, building God's kingdom. One of the things we suffer is because we are not seeking God in prayer, yes. asking for his wisdom, yes. his guidance, yes. and his strength. Yes. There is power yes. in yes. prayer. No prayer, no power. So the church needs to repent. Mm -hmm. We can't shout sin out. Some of us are trying to shout it out, but mm -hmm. you can't shout sin out. Amen. We have to repent. And we don't hear this yeah. too much nowadays about repentance. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, every service just about, everybody mm -hmm. came down to the altar. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. There's always higher mm -hmm. heights and deeper That's depths right. in the Lord. Amen. Nowadays, we got this little class system where some people think that they're above repentance. Mm -hmm. Nobody's above repentance each and every day. We must repent of things we yes. did that we shouldn't have done, yes. things we should have done that we didn't do. Yes. So sometimes yes. it's not blatant that you're doing something. Yes. Yes. Sin is missing the mark mm -hmm. to fall short, yes. to be an error. Yes. Mm. Repentance brings about a change of mind and a heart attitude that does yes. result in changed behavior. But we got to stay awake, be prepared. And you and I know what changes we need to make. Right. Amen. It's time to make that change mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. while you still have time. Mm -hmm. We must understand that the door is not always open. This is another misconception. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Amen. There are sometimes the door, only God knows when that door is closed. That's right. But the door is not always open. That's right. So when we hear God's voice, it's when we must obey his voice. And it's only the mercy and grace of God, the times that we haven't done it. But it's a dangerous thing to, for God to continue to speak. Because no one knows when the space of repentance is up. And when God shuts the door. I don't care how much oil you get, and I don't care how many prayers you get, that door ain't going to open. Right. Glory Amen. be to God. When the door is shut, it's shut. Yes. And can't no man open that door when God shuts the door. Glory be to God. But while the door is open to death, walk through the open door. The question is, do you know how to tell time? We trust that the word has encouraged you, has impacted your life. And we'd like to extend a cordial invitation to come out and join us in service. Our address is 465 Waterbury Court, Suite E, Gehanna, Ohio, 43230.